<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Radio Central. Gentlemen, happy Father's Day to all the biological fathers and all the stepfathers out there, of which I am both. However, gentlemen, I still maintain my thought process that nowadays, a man without children should not, not, N-O-T, not give his commitment to a woman that is bringing a child with her. Yes, there was a time where being a stepfather was considered an honorable thing, but the times and women have changed that into a huge negative. Anyway, I know this is also a sad time for a lot of biological fathers out there because of parental alienation, which let's be perfectly honest, that should be a crime. It should be. Why is that not a crime, gentlemen? Why have we not banded together and put our money where our mouth is? Unlike how you see women, or scratch that, single mothers being celebrated on Father's Day. Now we all know that's something that started within the black community and it's being spread through every community now. Yeah, yeah. You literally are now having white women saying, yeah, we should be celebrated for Father's Day too. And then you got on the other side, feminists saying that we should completely abolish Father's Day. Why is this happening, gentlemen? Because we as men refuse to band together and put our money where our mouth is. It's unfortunate. It truly is. Now, something else that I will say in regards to parental alienation. Gentlemen, there are ways to get around it. In the past, yes, your baby mother or ex-wife could just hop and move the kids across country to where you would have zero contact and you had to try to go through the court system to fight for any time. Gentlemen, we live in a technologically advanced age now. If she wants to leave, let her leave. But you can be creative. Give your child a tablet. Give your child a smartphone. Hell, me and my son, we're friends on Xbox Live. So we could jump in and play Call of Duty together and have a private chat amongst ourselves. Yes, I understand, but those days are gone. You can find a way to keep in contact with your child. Something else that I want to talk about for you adult men who may still harbor some, you know, hatred towards your father. Here's a question that I have to ask you. Did you get his side of the story. If you're an adult man and you still harbor hatred or negative feelings towards your father and you haven't gotten his side of the story, yeah, that's a dick move on your part. Mm-hmm. Yep. One thing that I actually did do before my father passed away, we actually sat down and I got 
his side of the story. It was a painful pill for me to swallow, but guess what? I swallowed that pill because I needed closure. I was always an angry young man at why my parents were never married. But he provided that answer. Come to find out, I was the result of an affair. My mother was my father's side chick. Yeah, there are a lot of young men, if they find that out, it will literally break them. However, for me, I simply say, you know what? I understand. I understand. He broke it down for me. And in the end, I said, you know what, dad? I forgive you. It wasn't right for me to harbor all of this hatred because I didn't know your side of the story. Gentlemen, if your father is still alive, get his side of the story. Then you can decide which direction you want to go. But as usual, a lot of us men who come from single mother homes were already too poisoned. We're too emotional. And a lot of times it's a bridge too far. Good thing I went to the military at a young age and I was able to actually understand his path. The fact that he was, you know, retired Air Force. So when I was born, he was stationed in Guam. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, as standard operating procedures goes with single mothers, your dad didn't want you, blah, blah, blah. He wasn't shit, yada, yada, yada. But then, as I stepped back and realized, one of the biggest truths that I had to tell myself and accept about my own mother was the fact that she was a hoe. Yeah, that's something else that you're going to have to accept, man. If your mother has children by more than one man, then yes, she was hoeing. I know for a lot of black men, that's another bridge too far. They're literally ready to fight, if not kill you, for stating the truth about their own mother because they don't want to see that. But once again, that's a choice that they have to make. It truly is. But all in all, gentlemen, if you're handling your business, however you're handling your business with your children, continue to do so. If you're at that point to where you've just given up and say, you know what? I'm not going to fight this battle in you know, family court, in child support court. I'll just pay what I need to pay and I'll keep that door open for when they turn 18. Guess what? That's a path that you've chosen. Good on you. If you still want to fight, fight, fight and pretty much break yourself in the process, once again, good on you. Hell, if you just decide to outright abandon your child because of, you know, the fuckery of the mother, once again, good on you. I'm not going to sit here and say to another man, you should do this for your child if I haven't went through the same thing. Me, me and my child have our way of communicating and I don't have to worry about parental alienation. So I'm not going to sit here and tell another man who is going through parental alienation how he should go about his path. He's going to make his choice. He's going to live with that choice. It is what it is. But gentlemen, we've got to stop letting these women hijack Father's Day. All the stuff that we do, all the things that we have to put up with, and still, on a day meant for men, women have thoroughly hijacked it. Come on now. Come on. But anyway, all I got to say is this. 
If your father is still alive, whether you hate this man or not, reach out to him. If he wants nothing to do with you, then you let him make that choice. But I'm pretty sure he's going to let you make the choice for you to reach out to him. Just do it. Well, let me know what you guys think. And ladies, this one is, isn't even about you. So it is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am